on guys Eric from the Wisco guys here wanted to sh talk to you about uh, the Focus ST and why I think everybody that's thinking about getting one or thinking about getting something similar or is in their options like okay I'm gonna get this but I got this but I can get a Focus ST and I'm gonna tell you why you should buy a Focus ST and why you should go get one right now you know, for me, uh, I've owned a Focus ST for over two years now. Um, two of them in the last two years, each for uh, a little over a year now. And, and kind of my experience with them, and, and why you should, just, if you if you want one, go get one right now. So the prices on them, they vary. I mean, you can get one used. I, I've seen some as low as um, about thirteen thousand with some miles on it. You know. 50,000 miles on it uh, new ones go for as low as 19 or listed for 19 and um, yeah, that's kind of low end and then they go up from there uh, being new you know all the way to well sticker price I think you get up to almost 30 grand or more but you know if, you, if you're looking for you know a fun daily driver that's stick shift uh, it's front wheel drive and you know they get through the snow pretty well if you put a set of snow tires on them you know it, it's a it's a good buy i mean a lot of people him and haw on them i mean they are what they are they are yes they are still focused but they they change a few things interior wise exterior wise to make it more appealing uh, for someone looking for a more sportier car um I, i've driven both uh, st and uh, regular focus and this ST doesn't it doesn't even compare uh, fuel wise power wise and interior wise I mean yeah it's still got the same it's still got the same stuff um, but I mean you get a nice steering wheel if you get ST2 ST3 package you get really nice seats um, and um, you can get a carbon fiber package with the ST3 I think and then you know it's just it's just really overall a nice a nice interior feel the main thing is like the power of it though like to have you know you can just drop a couple gears and let the tur turbo spool up and pass someone and put it back in sixth and, and get 30 miles to the gallon you know I wish Ford would keep around it's like they made it and then like okay you know we 13 we made it and it kind of, you know, they did the, re, the restyle of the whole Focus line um, in 15. They didn't really improve noticeable improvements like either power-wise or, um, you know, just uh, performance-wise or anything like that. So, uh, you know, they didn't really improve out of it. Nothing. I mean, they redid the redesign. And that was about it. I mean, it's still the same interior from... 13 you know a little bit different in the dash and stuff but they, they had so much more uh, potential with these cars that they could have built off of um, it made them even better and more appealing to uh, more of the market that's just my opinion but yeah I mean it's a great car the interiors are nice I mean what what more can you say it, 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 and it's a sporty car I mean you can take corners and just I'm not gonna be able to do that with a base model Hyundai or anything like that. I'm not saying that Hyundai is bad, but I mean for the price of this car, you're getting a hell of a deal. So um, used or new, uh, it really doesn't matter. Warranties. I mean, what else are you gonna get with? I mean, there's there's a few other cars, but. For the value and the warranties and what the car is, you know, it, it's definitely a good buy. You know, owning this car for a year, this one, the white one, I haven't had any issues. I've already put um, just about 7,000 miles on it to this date. So, I haven't had any issues. I had a blue one prior to this one that I traded in. I did no modifications to. Um, the only thing I really did to it was the... Uh, did a set of winter tires for winter. 
there's guys that daily driving these things tuned. You know, doesn't you know stratified. You know, it's Ford racing tunes. You know, everybody's got these tunes on them. And they're still you know beating the hell out of them, and uh, and they're reliable. I mean, as long as you don't you know floor it in six gear at forty, I think you'd be fine. I've got a friend of mine that um, he's been he's into cars too, and and uh, I let him drive this, and, and he he was hooked. He was he was set. I mean. He hasn't bought one yet, but he's still looking for that that unicorn priced ST3. But what can you do? I mean, so yeah, my, my recommendation again is if you're thinking about buying one, you, you haven't driven one, definitely go test drive one. Um, and you know, if, if it feels good to you, buy it because they're not going to be making these much more longer. And just for it, what was an explanation? I, I would think so, just because. There's a lot of people that do love these cars, so you, know, you kind of—I mean, are they are they trying to push these people into a Mustang? Possibly. Are they thinking about making you know their profit, gross profit, more by selling SUVs? Probably. You gotta go. You gotta do what the consumer wants, and we're not the margin. We're not. We're not the margin. We are not the mart. We are not the majority on this. So, you know, these guys, these, these guys that love these hot hatches and stuff, which sucks. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I, I would get a Mustang, but they're a little bit out of my price range, and I don't want to get an EcoBoost Mustang because, to, oh, is that is that a V8? No. To, to get an EcoBoost one, I'd really, really have to justify like the rebates and 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 how cheap I could get one brand. Otherwise, I, I would want to go for the 5.0. Other than that, I mean, yeah, go. There, I mean, there's a bunch of aftermarket support for them. So, I mean, if you want to make this thing faster, you can. You, if you want to make it faster reliably, you can. If you just want to put a tuner on it, you can. Um, you want to make big power with it, spend a little money, buy a big turbo, get it tuned, you can. I mean, there's a bunch of aftermarket support. Um, not only for performance, but for the aftermarket uh, appearance on it too. I mean, there's a lot of people that sell a ton of uh, a ton of appearance items for this, you know, aftermarket. Got kids looking at the car. <laughs> now, what was I saying? I just saw some kids that were breaking their necks. And... The thing is, too, you, you might be able to find these out on dealer lots that have been sitting out there for a while. And the price may shock you if you, you go talk to them and say, hey, you know, I'm still I'm looking at these. And I, I noticed you had this one on the lot for a while. Might get one for cheaper than you think. So, this is fun. I mean, you just get into it a little bit. That's why I love driving it. Just the power, um, you know, the, when the boost hits. And it's very quick on these. It's very quick on these cars when you hit boost because um, they do have such a small turbo. Um, you know, there there is the torque vectoring control, which I'm pretty sure I reached limits on these cars um, going around corners, and it does help. It you know it, it grabs that that whatever rotor is the inside rotor and uh, pulls you around that quarter. It's kind of a neat feeling when it does it. So. Um, handling, you know, if you if you like just ripping around corners or ripping around town, uh, this is the car for you for sure. What it really boils down to is, should you buy the car? Yes. Should you test drive a car if you never, you know, test drive the Focus ST or even the Fiesta ST too? I, I haven't even mentioned that yet. Even the Fiesta ST, if you're looking at that, go ahead, buy, buy it. I mean, they're not going to make any more. You only live once. If you want that car, buy it. If you want a Focus ST, buy it. Um, and, and a real question myself, you know, I asked myself, would I buy a third one? And hell yes, I would buy a third one. What color, you may ask? That hot pepper red, I, I think I would do. Um, that like, it's like an orangish, reddish metallic. And I'd definitely do that in a heartbeat. I think that'd be the next color I would go for. So I could do the, uh, the intro to this 
and then uh, I'll, after the car wash, I'll do an outro. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll get this thing washed. So guys, I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing a lot more things um, with this car. I'm going to be doing a lot more things with the Firebird too. So um, just watch out for those videos. Definitely subscribe. I usually get one to two videos out a week. Um, sometimes three. So comment if there's something you want to see or see a video on. Definitely uh, tell me down below. And then check out uh, the Dirt Dash videos. Um, or the dirt dash car videos i should say those uh, i'll link at the end of the video here but we're going to be racing uh the i think it's i think it's the 12th the sunday the 12th i think let, let me double check sunday the 12th definitely uh if you're in the er local area check out the uh bayfield county fair uh we'll be racing there me and aaron uh aaron being the pit crew uh, i'm gonna race. I, I was like hey you want to race he like, no that's your thing buddy so but like i said subscribe it gives me motivation to do some more videos and definitely comment because I look at every comment and I usually reply back to every comment. So thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button.